Ciao ragazzi, we're back with another video. This time our WR around Miami uh, for I think round 13 or 14 of the championship. Um, and as you can see here, we're a bit messing around and qualifying because we are going to be doing a last to first. Uh, my first last to first, I think, ever. Um, I don't remember the last time I've tried one. Um, I'm not cooking. This is because, well, I'm, I'm out of the championship fight and I won't be there for the last round of the race uh, out of, the ch of the championship because I won't be home. Um, so mathematically, it's going to be impossible for me to be champion. So we're going to use this opportunity to just have some fun and just have some get just getting some more experience uh, in the race. Um, and there's a lot of people doing that with me actually uh, today. And I think Lucas Blakely, Fabrizio, uh, Thomas Ronar, Danny Moreno, uh, maybe someone else. Um, they they were doing last to first with so. Yeah, as you can see, also Yarno out of Q2 in P13, so he's not too far up the road either. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to see here, Otis is going to get pole position, I think. Uh, but we're going to be starting P18 on the hards, uh, next to Lucas and Thomas. And as you can see, Thomas actually gets a drive-through penalty. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't, didn't know what he, what he did there. I think he just made a mistake, his hand slipped. But we're going to let them go. We don't want to get any wing damage here. We want to be make it safely through. Cleanly, as Thomas and Lucas have a little bit of a moment. Fabrizio there on the inside as well. We're going to get past both of them. Thomas. Um, <laughs> uh, and Thomas as well. We're going to go side by side in the S's. And keep, keep in mind, we have very low wings. Um, we're going to be very, very slow in these corners. But we're going to be a rocket ship down the straights. And I oh, just thought there. if I wanted to have any chance of overtaking nice you have, mate. from the back. Um, as you can see here, I'm just pulling yeah. away. Uh, so if I wanted to have any chance of overtaking people, I needed bye -bye. to... <laughs> have a lower wing setup as you can see you're not laughing because oh, he just saw how fast i am on the straights um so we'll see how we're gonna like, we could get cracking on um very slow section here everyone is side by side uh very very tight section of the track nice. and we're gonna go super slowly as we're down to like 50 kph at one point uh basically street street speeds as we tapple the Back of Yannick just a little bit. What is going on? And we're going to take this opportunity that we're being so bunched up to use I some of my ERS and potentially maybe even we make up another place or two. Um, everyone is using it on me, but you can see we're just catching like crazy. And we're three wide now into the last corner. We break late, but we give each other room fair and square. Um, I think he has a little bit better traction than me. I lose the back end um, once again. Uh, so we're just going to let him go, I think. Uh, I shouldn't have used the RS there now that I think about it. Should have kept a bit more. Nice um, using. But either way, we're up to P16. We made up two places. It's, it's not looking too bad. We did a decent start here. Um, I think our teammate Istvan is, yeah, is at the is front as well um, uh, of this train. So yeah, I think he's the first hard runner. If you skip on to lap 5 here, people just get super bunched up here. I even lifted and braked like normally, but I tapped the rear of Yannick there. I lost the car a little bit. Um, I apologized straight after the race. Um, uh, I didn't, and he was, bruh, everything is going on here. What yeah. the hell just happened there? Oh, I completely yeah. forgot about that. Um, visual safety car. I think some people had an incident. Uh, Tamash, Gal, and maybe someone else. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure what happened there. But we have a VSC what now. And there? crucially, Luke Smith and Jan Hopme decide to pit. And shift theirself into a two-stop strategy, which we see if later on is going to work on. It's going to work out, but if you see East one just uh, got spun round. Uh, so now we make up another two positions. So we're now P9 in the hearts. With Lucas following us through. Um, it's all going down. Every, uh, generally, every single lap, it was somebody was dying in front of us. So we've made up nine places. Well, effectively seven, because the two people that pitted ahead of us. Um, so... That, yeah, that was crazy first 10 laps of the race. Uh, we're looking for a strong result here. I mean, we're, we're in the lead train um, on the hards with Yoni in the... Some people ahead of us on the, uh, on the softer tires, which means they will be absolutely eaten alive in the second stint. Um, but yeah, as we skip on to lap 11, Yoni is now struggling a lot with these tires. I mean, 11 lap old softs um, is quite a lot. So we're going to go down the inside, easy moves. We leave each other space. Um, I think he does he pit? No, he does not pit yet. I mean, fair play. He, bringing those softs to these many laps <laughs> is not going to be a very nice experience. Uh, as we Jed ahead of us, P5 is on mediums, and Declan Barr has a penalty out of us. So we're basically we're net P6, 
Well, yeah, we're, we're PC, net P6. And Zed is on the mediums, and I think also Piotr ahead is on the mediums. So we're looking for a top 4, top 5 finish. Um, but as we skip on to top 14, Luke Smith, having pitted under the VSC, and he, they, he didn't lose much time. On these newer mediums, I think like seven lap fresher mediums, he can he caught up the group so quickly and just overtook everyone. Um, and same goes for Yarno. Yarno's following him through, and one lap later, he's just gonna go down the entire mid to turn one. I'm not even gonna defend. I mean, he's on seven laps fresher, softer tires, so he's so much quicker at this point. Um, so in hindsight, pitting under the VSC, sh it was the faster strategy. But the difference between me and Yarn and Luke was I was way at the back at the time. I mean, um, I was way further behind than Yarn and Luke were. So, but at the same time, I, I think it would have been a fast strategy. But anyway, hindsight is a beautiful thing. As Luke goes down the inside of that corner, as I said, he has way more downforce. As you can see here, I'm just flying past. Yeah, like he has no answer to my straight line speed whatsoever. So, uh, that was that was pretty funny at the time. Um, I mean, it's not every day you get to see a car overtake you like that in a league race, just purely from downforce um, and straight line speed. Uh, but anyway, we should be we should be pitting soon here. I mean, at this point, we're discussing if I should undercut or overcut, and to be honest, we were not prepared at all. So we didn't know when to pit or how long the tires would last and how fast they would be. Um, so we pit actually a lap later of Declan and a few people. Um, to have a little bit of an overcut and better tires of the cars ahead. Um, we're going to go into the medium tire as Fabrizio De Noso follows us through. Um, as well as Luke Smith, actually. I don't know why Luke pitted so early. He, uh, like, uh, him having way fresher tires. I mean, if I was Luke, I would have done what Yarno was doing and kept going and having an even bigger tire delta later on in the race. Because um, we know it's going to get all bunched up uh, at the end. So we're going to rejoin right behind our teammate here. Um, but with cold no. tires. Um, our tires are not warm at all. As you can see, we're only we're less than two tenths behind them. But just in these three or four corners, my tires being cold and probably me not being super focused, um, we are going to lose so much time and we go wide there as well. And we are out of the DRS zone. Somehow, I swear to God, I was sure at the white line oh, of the yeah, DRS detection, I was yeah. below a second. I dare you guys to go back in the video and it. check. I was nine and a half tenths. Um, but somehow I don't have DRS. So now I'm forced to use a lot of my battery, which I really didn't want to. Um, uh, but And also to mention Fabrizio, I don't know what the hell happened in his pit stop because how is he 2.8 seconds behind when he was, he pitted right behind me. Um, so but yeah, we skip on to lap 18, we've caught up the train, no yeah, we, we did ca catch a train either way, but at the cost of like 30 or 40 ERS, which I really didn't want to, and I should have been ahead of Shanaka if I was um, in this one's DRS. By the way, Thomas here, uh, he's still on the hard tires from the drive from the start, because I think he, from the drive through he still hasn't pitted yet, he's still waiting for a safety car, so fair, yeah, I mean, he has... That's the only thing you can possibly do, to be fair. Um, but we get past them very, very easily. It's New mediums compared to very old hearts. Uh, I think... Sorry. So Jarno hasn't pitted yet. In, like, As you can see on the minimap, he's still uh, out there. Um, on the on those mediums, but they um, should still be relatively good. As we die the inside Shanta. of Yoni Tormala. Have a little bit of a contact, but nothing, not, nothing too, cra yeah, too crazy. Um, so we follow, we should follow oh, Shanaka through. Um, that was crucial to not lose any time behind Yoni. He also has a penalty, so yeah. I mean, he's on very, very old mediums anyway. Uh, yeah. On to lap 20 yeah, here. I think we're gonna pa get past Tamash um, Gal, who's yeah, also on old tires. Um, but as you can see, look at our straight line speed. Too. We are catching so much, and I'm not even using my my battery. So he lets us through. Fair play to him. He's not, he doesn't want to lose any more time. Um, uh, yeah, so here, side by side, he's from Shanaka. Not the best place to go side by side in. As you can see, look how slow we're going. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a good run, a good exit here. And this one is going to let us and through one, without Nico, using yeah. any ERS. Um, so that, that's another position made up for us. So we are now net P6, I believe, because Yarno is about to pit this lap, I think. 
which he does, yeah, end of lap 20 is when he pits. So he's going to do eight or nine laps on a new set of mediums. Into the pits. Um, so which means he will be super shot. rapid for the rest for of the race. Uh, and we're now at the back of Declan. So actually, no, we're not P5 because Declan has a penalty. So we're going to get past him easy. As you can see, he's flashing, so he has no battery and we want to follow Shanaka. And potentially just slingshot ourselves past him head. onto Luke and the, the leading Close. train and, you know, maybe fight for a win here. I mean, it's it's yeah. on the cards yeah, for sure. But we do miss out on the a DRS, uh, on a DRS zone in a lap and we just get yeah, absolutely destroyed here by Lucas. He has, I think, yeah. three or four laps now. newer tires, I would, I would say. Um, that's, yeah, he has a much better pace okay, advantage, okay. even if he's on no ERS. Um, I can't fight much, him. Generally, he's first, too yeah. he's too quick. But thankfully, actually, no. Somehow, again, I don't have DRS zone, um, so we're not gonna get eaten alive by Yarno as well. Uh, it's wasn't the best race management, I guess, from me. But I I could have sworn that I was within one second of each DRS detection zone. Um, it's something I need to look into. Maybe it's not perfect in the game, and we need to report uh, to um, to the developers because. It's game changer. I mean, the first one really changed uh, the the outcome of the of the race, and I would be in the leading train. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I should have just managed it better. As Shanaka and Piotr are both on no ERS, uh, fighting for P five. Piotr trying to hang on on like pff, very very old hearts. As he also gets a penalty, and Fabrizio behind as well. So we're kind of just stuck now. Uh, but we're gonna get we're gonna use some of our ERS to get past Piotr. Uh, should be no problem here. He's flashing and he's way slower, so free pass. And we're gonna follow Shanaka. Oh, and maybe we dive inside of Shanaka. We don't. We don't hit each other. Thankfully, we leave each other space there. And uh, that was uh, good awareness by him there. Uh, but yeah. So now we're gonna use and try to get or stay in Yarno's DRS, which will be very hard um, with his pace at the moment. But yeah, apart, apart from that, I mean, we don't have that much ERS to fight for the win anymore, I think. Um, there's one and a half laps to go, we're not in the leading train, we get past Shanaka here to maybe slingshot into the train at, at the front. Um, but as you can see, it's just not enough. Um, it's just not, it wasn't enough. So Shanaka's gonna get past us again. Fabrizio's pushing to pass as well. Um, but we want to be behind Chanaka for the last lap so we can get the position uh, with the DRS because I think, I mean, as you guys saw this race, it's so powerful as on the back straight here. I have way more ERS, straight line speed, DRS, slipstream, done. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably like 25 kph faster than him on the straights, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna We're going to finish P5 this race, Lucas P4, and Yarno actually won the race with the two-stop strategy in the VSC, so fair play to him. The race was fun, the strategy was not on point, but what can you expect when you genuinely have zero laps of practice? Um, so, yeah, Yarno wins, Otis P2, Luke P3, Lucas P4, ourself P5, P18 to P5, not too bad, Lucas P19 to P4 as well. So, definitely a successful race nonetheless. Um, very chaotic, fun race as well. Uh, yeah, here we're already discussing about the strategy because I was just frustrated with myself that I didn't do the best strategy possible, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, as the moment when you guys see this, I think PSGL will be cancelled in China, so oh, we're arguing so much. Uh, yeah, so PSGL in China is cancelled due to the game being broken at the moment, so I don't know when I'll see you again, uh, but yeah, uh, I think it will be Abu Dhabi, PSGL, and I'll see you guys then. Ciao, guys.